Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, I still believe in the Bitcoin revolution and in today a short update on the Bitcoin market as we are crashing to zero. No, we are dipping and I'm going to show you what I think about this dip. Now let's quickly jump into the charts. My mind can't get no rest. And over here. Now, this is the first chart. This is uh, on a trading view. This is the one hour chart. I'm showing you the bam bam indicator. It's giving a long flag over there. This red triangle means don't take that long yet. And uh, so, this is like we are going to see along uh, very soon. Then this one tells you, ah, wait a little bit. And then this purple one tells you, okay, we are closing above the other stepping line. That could be a great moment to look into the long. Then when you see that, you go to the bottom and you see, ah, there's a lot of blue sea. That is not the most positive part to take along. The long would be perfect when there is only green. But still, the Bam Bam also is crossing already a little bit earlier over there. So that could be a triple confirmation. So it could be a long, but then you need to realize that if you take the long, that at that moment, um, there is a big chance we find resistance at that red line. And that's a 0.84% without leverage. With leverage could be a leverage of then like almost 8%. So that is the risk you take. And um, if we break above that red line, yes, then it becomes a very attractive long of 3.4%. And this is on the one hour. Okay, now that's the bam bam indicator. Now let's zoom out to the day channel. On the day channel, we can clearly see what is happening. That big green box that I drew that is like the box of uh, support and resistance all combined in the last since like january 2021 all the way till now you can see that a lot of time spent in that box we all every time come back and then now again we got into that box and do i like this no i don't like this because the bottom of the box is around thirty-eight thousand five hundred us dollar and if we look to the left we found a lot of support over there but we even dipped lower and I would love to stay above this box and even go above that green line of 44k again and then break that red line of 48k. And people are freaking out now and they are thinking that everything that I just said is now impossible. But if you just look like two inches to the left or centimeters, uh, you can see it happened many times before. Just to show you from this dip here, this green line to the bottom was a 19% dip. And after that 19% dip, Bitcoin also went up from here again to the green line, uh, even above it with 25%. So yes, these dips are shocking. And at the moment from this red line, the 200 day moving average to where we are is a 19% dip again. But I don't freak out because I believe that Bitcoin can easily turn this around. And if we would uh, turn it around with again a 25% run or something, then we got, would uh, arrive above the 200 day moving average. So um, yes, welcome to Bitcoin, welcome to volatility, but these dips are made for buying. Now, then on the Gaussian channel, I've been warning you already for uh, two weeks, I think now, um, if we don't break that midline, then that is resistance and that would mean we could fall back all the way to the bottom line and that is also at 38,500. I've been saying this many times. I didn't want to believe it myself. I hoped that we would break the midline, but the chance was that we wouldn't because the green turned red. And I told you that is my heater thing over there again making noise. And I told you I didn't like it because it only happened a few times in history and I still don't like it. But then, of course, I still keep the hope that we don't dip too far below it and then go up again. Because the positive part of arriving in this red area is that we know that it will turn green again. And the most positive part of that is that every time when it turns green from red, you can make the shitload of profits that everybody is dreaming of in Bitcoin. So to give an example, from this moment we turn green till the top. That was a 6,000% run. Now, from this moment in green over here, ah, that's the in-between um, in trade because 
this I don't think should have been red. I think this is the scover dip. So let's say from this moment in green over there, we take it a little bit high to that top over there. It's a 500% run. And if we would take it from that here that we turn green as well to the top, 560% run. So after these red areas come green areas. How far can we dip? That is of course um, not easy to predict, but we can measure how far went the wick went down below that uh, Gaussian channel. That one went down below 10% of the Gaussian channel. This wick went down below also 10% down below the Gaussian channel. So let's say we would fall down below this Gaussian channel with these five day candles. Eh? Every candle is representing five days. So in five days we would go down below and come up again. But if we would go 10% down below this level, that would be around 34,000, like 35,000 US dollar. That would be a wick. And then the closing candle would then uh, be around 38. So uh, I would buy, I would put some buy orders at those levels, 35, 36. Why not? Maybe buy a little bit Bitcoin. If we dip and you sleep, it buys the dip. That's exactly what our bot is doing. But you want more information about the bot, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com. Um, if you want to trade all of this with the Bam Bam indicator, also go to the bitcoinfamily.com. And if you want to support the family and the Bitcoin uh, courses that we build, schools and all orphanages and all that stuff, then use the links down below the video to sign up to these exchanges because you can get up to $11,000 on bonus. Now, I have some more charts. Taking long again, did you got them? You want to make a short one. Now, the other charts I want to show you was this. Yes. Ah, moi. Moi means beautiful this one is created by plan b and um, you see the bitcoin price these are the blue dots then you see the realized price of investors and loss and the realized price of investors and profit so if you analyze this chart you can see that 70 percent of all the 19 million bitcoins is in profit 30 percent of the 19 million bitcoins is in loss and if we look at these averages then that means that um, the 70 percent that is in profit is almost at a three times gain which means we are at 42k and the all on average bought at 14k 30 percent that is in loss is looking at a 20 percent dip so they bought around 50k and we are now around 42k or like 40k now um, so these numbers tell me that there is a shitload of people in profit and there's only a small amount of people in loss and those people that are on loss are about 20 percent in loss so they will probably not be freaking out as they bought bitcoin uh, for the long term but that's what i'm going to show you on this one here and um, because if you zoom out into bitcoin you can see the bitcoin halving uh, regression i don't know where my face is uh, it's exactly wrong i will put it here nice place there Epoch one, um, which means you can see the halvings. Yeah, this is the first, this is the second halving period, third happy halving. At the moment, we are in the fourth halving, and we will get a fifth and a sixth halving as well, of course. And that will take all the way to the year 2032. Um, if we just use the inputs of Bitcoin that we have till now, these data is over there, then you can see this logarithmic nonlinear regression uh, curve, uh, which would mean that that red line is slowly crawling up which would mean this is the 100k line here there that point that the line somewhere in these years till 2024 and then the four years after two to 28 somewhere in this area the bottom is going to be 100k so again somewhere in this area the bottom is going to be 100k and probably that will be from that moment on and that moment here where, where we touch the red line touch the 100k and we pull it down would be around uh, let's say 2026 so that's another four years and then we would have a 100k bottom that would mean that we would be above it first and then fall back to the bottom so if you start investing now in bitcoin and believe that this curve is going to continue and that the bottom somewhere in the future will be a 100k and even near a million if we look all the way to 32 and then you can also believe that we go up and maybe a little bit down below it but there will be a time that that will be this new bottom and if you believe that then you should do this i'm spitting on the screen then you should do this put my face over here again 
you should be doing exactly this because most of you uh, won't be able to spend too much time in trading and for those that are not having the time to trade um, we have a thing that we call dollar cost average and dollar cost average means nothing else than buying a certain amount of dollars into bitcoin every week on the same day for example so for example look to the left if we buy ten dollars of bitcoin every week and if we would have started three years ago and we would have accumulated for three years then at the moment you would have invested fifteen hundred dollars and that would have a value of six and a half thousand dollars which would mean you had a 320 percent profit and i know if you would have done one hundred dollars that would be a little bit more you would have 60k now 65k well you only invested 15k and yes you can play around with this you could have said oh no i would have started four years ago again the uh, already d where would i be then and uh, then you would have invested 20k you would be now at a 120k value and it would be 500 percent up so for me this is going to continue because four years will create averages and these averages are going up and down but in the all bitcoin is going up so if you would in my opinion start now with buying 100 dollars of bitcoin every week or 10 dollars of bitcoin every week um, i think in total you would again have invested one fifth of the value that it would have in four years this is what they cost dollar cost average. The website is DCABTC. I'm not being sponsored or paid to talk about it. I just think, think it's a very handy tool. So for me, it's all about portfolio. Uh, what do you do? You invest a part of your portfolio uh, into a bot, in the Bitcoin Family Pro bot. That one makes like around 3 to 4% a month. Last month were 6%. Some months will be 1%, but it will create an average of 3 to 4% a month on yearly base. One part of the portfolio, you just keep buying Bitcoin. You just keep dollar cost averaging every week. Uh, and one part you use to trade and do crazy stuff and invest a little bit maybe in Shiba or a little bit now in Cult DAO or a little bit in you know, the things that you believe that will go times thousand. Uh, but be aware those amounts you need to be prepared to be losing because that's a high risk thing. The pro bot, low risk dollar cost averaging zero risk because you keep buying bitcoin yes the value of bitcoin can go down of course there is always a one percent chance that the planet will stop existing but <laughs> i don't believe it now uh, that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this again too long video but um, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends family, subscribe to the channel hit the notification and leave a comment what do you think about the bitcoin price what do you think about the bitcoin revolution what do you think about the uh, three meetups that are already arranged in the netherlands we will start the 19th of april in Setat cafe de cup now, that was everything. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again.